So you want to make horsepower with your 7.3. Let's go over that a little bit. I'm going to stand out here in the rain, look at my truck, and talk about making horsepower on a 7.3. This thing has no horsepower, by the way. So, everyone wants to make their 7.3 faster, keep up with the newer trucks. You got that friend with a Cummins, you know, that just fucking walks around all over you. Okay, here's a couple big things to think about. What year is your truck first off? Is it an old body style? Is it a Super Duty? If it's a Super Duty, what year it is? Does it have forged bottom end? Does it not? How many miles are on your rig? The miles is a big part. So I'd say probably, I mean, shit, even if it's a 150,000 mile truck, they're still old. So does it have oil leaks? I can tell you mine does. You might want to fix oil leaks before you get into horsepower. You might want to make sure the engine's actually running strong. You know, have you ever checked the valve cover harnesses? Are those melted? How about the pigtails for the valve cover harnesses? Have you ever done injectors? If you got an OBS, how are your fuel tanks? Are they in good shape? Are you getting a bunch of what looks like someone's pouring sand in your fuel bowl? You know, those are big things to worry about. Your high pressure oil pump. OBS, that's smaller than a Super Duty high pressure oil pump. If you got 200 and something K on it, it's probably shit the better, you know, fine for stock, but you start tuning her up, it ain't gonna hold oil pressure. Going back to OBS, fuel system. Again, the tank, are your tanks clean? How much horsepower are you gonna make? That selector valve with the dual tanks might not work. And again, how good a shape is your tanks in? A whole other thing with the fuel, e-fuel on these OBSs. It's electronic fuel, or it's a mechanical fuel. You're gonna need to go electronic fuel. That stuff could get kind of expensive. Um, what filter are you gonna go with? Blah, blah, blah. There's so many variables to the fuel system. But even getting outside of that, okay? How's your turbo situation? Your up pipes are probably shot, just like all of them. Do you have any gauges on the truck? Do you know if you're making okay fuel pressure? If you're making an okay boost? How are the EGTs? You know, there's there's lots of things to these. So, trying to stay short and sweet. The biggest thing is if you want to make horsepower in your 7.3, regardless on reliable or not, how good a shape is your 7.3 in to start out with? You know, it, it might have a couple hundred thousand miles on it and the compression's low. And you're just never going to have the fun that you want to have or even have the horsepower you want to have because it's just a tired engine you know these things work horses most of the time they got used even if it only has 200k it's barely broke in you never know bro it could be way worse than you think uh transmissions you know you got an automatic you got a five speed if you got a five speed clutches you know aren't too much but is the transmission gonna hold <laughs> who knows uh automatic it gets really expensive to build an automatic transmission to take horsepower and let me tell you your factory one that shifts fine ain't gonna take no fucking 400 horsepower i promise you it won't and if it does not for very long now you want to have the transmission rebuilt you got to find someone referable to do that there's a bunch of people online sam wise this and that look at how long it takes for their wait time so let's say you decide today i'm going 500 wheel horsepower I got the six plus thousand to put into the trans and the ten plus thousand all day long, probably more to put into the motor. Well, you want to do it tomorrow, you got all the parts. It might take four months to get your transmission rebuilt. Maybe less, maybe more. You never know. So that's just some stuff I wanted to talk about real quick. You want a 7.3, you want it to make horsepower. I can tell you I do, but there's a lot of variables to it. And you could spend thousands, and I mean thousands depending on condition of truck just getting that 7.3 to the point where it's ready to take more ha horsepower than factory so think about that if you got more questions what you think your truck might need or whatever leave them in the comments i'm more than welcome or i'm more than willing to uh, help you try to figure out what's the deal with your truck you know sensors on these trucks you got i don't even know how many hundreds of dollars in sensors that could go out and pigtails and everything else wiring and you want good quality we won't even get started on what parts you're going to buy. If you got a crank position sensor going out on this, don't go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone and go get like a little, I don't know, Duralast or whatever brand knockoff they're going to have. You got to go buy Ford Motor Company. And that shit gets expensive, you know? So are your sensors good on your truck, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Get your 7.3 running the best it can be, factory, then add a Hydra, and then start thinking about how much horsepower do you really want? Because I guarantee you're driving around your 7.3 and you're like, man, this thing's slow. 
I bet you get it running healthy and you put a chip on it, it's not going to be so slow anymore and you might be happy with that. So just think about it, you know. I didn't even talk about we get into internals. There's so much money you could spend on these to make horsepower just to go keep up with your dad's newer factory truck. So is it worth it? 7.3 people are a different breed. You got to be willing and know, hey, I might chuck a rod tomorrow if I make this much horsepower. Uh, valve might come say hi with the piston. There's a bunch of things that could happen. I might have to go throw down $30,000 to make this truck relevant with modern vehicles. Just stuff to think about. So anywho, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. If you got questions, put them in the comments. But uh, long story short, if you want horsepower in your 7.3, start saving.